Hey there fellow travelers, welcome back to Bon Voyage Cruise Travel, your go-to channel for all things cruise related. Today we are going to the town of Io and Thera and visiting Santorini, Greece. Island. I've been here a long, long time ago before it even was discovered. So this is, should be interesting for me to see how much it's changed. And let's get started. When I visited Santorini at the end of September, I was surprised by how much the place had changed. I had visited it in the early 80s, before there was even an airport. So of course it's quite different. And though it was the beginning of off-season, there was still massive crowds because four ships were visiting at the same time. One good thing that I happened to do by accident was book a shore excursion called Ia and Thera, which cost $59 per person. We were tendered ashore to the other side of the island, the port of Athenios, where we took a scenic ascent up the mountain of the caldera. And it gave us a breathtaking panoramic view of the island. We then drove to the picturesque village of Ia. We had time on our own to look around. We passed traditional villages nestled in the mountains. Built on the northern part of the Caldera Rim, Ia is a stunning inspiration point for many artists. and we strolled along the charming cobblestone streets. We marveled at the traditional architecture. It was white and blue and browsed through a variety of shops that offered ceramics and paintings, jewelry, and a lot of delicious treats. It's like O I A. It's called Ia, like yeah. and it's a beautiful town. And it runs in what it was in Santorini before it got really popular. Before there was an airport, before there was anything. So this is the town of Ia. This is fun to stroll around, shop, eat, look around. We're being given time to do that, and um, this is a nice place to check out because it's on the other side. And after exploring Ia, we headed to Thera or Fera, the capital of Santorini, which is perched on the edge of the volcano's caldera. And at this point, we were given the option to either stay in town and explore, because it was still kind of early, it was about 12.30 at this point, or climb Fera's narrow lanes to the cable car station. Ships tenders would take us back to sh the ship. Most of us just stayed in town to look around, but as the time was going on and it was approaching noontime, all the tours were being let off there and it started to get kind of crowded. Livy, here's some clothes from Greece. Good love. I could see you in all this. 
crazy. Unreal. So beautiful. It was a beautiful place. I think the crowd, in my personal opinion, kind of ruined it a bit. If you can look past that, And I'd love to go back and spend time when there aren't four cruise ships in port. I mean, your, our, our return time to ship was, I believe it, or 4.30 or something like that. So we needed to get back. All the tours ended in Fira, which unfortunately created a traffic jam at the cable car station. Be sure to bring your sunscreen and your patience. Our wait in line began at 1 o'clock and we didn't return to the ship until 3.30. The cable car could only hold four people at a time and it simply couldn't keep up with the volume of passengers from the ship. So when planning your visit to Santorini, keep in mind it can be quite crowded even during the off season. The cable car ride is an experience in itself, but be prepared for a lengthy wait. And if you're up for the challenge, you can also choose to walk up or down the 600 steps to reach the pier. Kind of crazy here. This is the cable car line. So once you arrive in Santorini, you're in the town of Thera, and there's like a major line here. And it's going to take at least a half hour. kind of a crazy time here in Santorini. It's a little aggravating for people because there's such a bunch of lines and no one understands the concept of waiting in a line. So people are taking cuts. It's kind of like mayhem. So that kind of takes away from it, but it is a beautiful place. Steps. Oh no. Well, those are a lot of steps. Oh, steps. Well, I mean, I could have done it, but I just—it's just too hot. It's just too hot. This is where you get on. It's down at the bottom. So that's all the shopping here at the port, the old port. And it's really amazing because right up there. Right there is the steps. Some steps. So, as far as the tour here in Santorini, I have to say, I mean, it is a beautiful place. And we went to Ia and Thera, and we went to a new port, so we didn't have to experience any of the cable car madness till the end of our trip. I'm not sure what it would be like to just get off and not have a tour booked, but I would tell you that it is a very busy, because it is so beautiful, it's a highly desired place to visit. And because of that, there's many cruise ships here. And the city can't really accommodate as many people as that at once. So I found it the Ia city that we went to was really um, beautiful too and it wasn't as crowded as the Thera which is the port city of where you catch your cable car. Um, my recommendation would be to probably get out really early in the morning just allow at least 
probably oh, over an hour to get out of the ship and up to the top. And then once you're shopping, the cable car line to come back took about an hour. And I left at one o'clock. So we left from say eight to one. And the last tender was in at 415 and you can see that this is, we actually pulled from our spot and then these people caught up with us a little bit later. But anyway, the, um, the cable car is kind of a problem if you have any kind of mobility issues or handicap in any way where you need to sit down. I think you should let it be known to somebody because they really don't accommodate that at all. And there was a lot of people in line upset because people were taking cuts and, um, and it was hot. And so people were you know, just a little irritated in that, in that respect. I think that the city has, I mean, it's beautiful, but yet it, it, it's bursting with people. So if you can look past that and maybe do some shopping, you'll like it or have a lunch or something. But I can tell you, it's, it was a little bit frustrating for people. So just be prepared for that. And like I say, make your, make your needs be known to somebody. Because otherwise, you'll just have to stand in line forever. We were in line for an, over an hour, and we left at 1 o'clock. I don't even know how long these other people had to wait. But there is a 600-step option that you can walk down. And I almost did that, but my husband really doesn't want to be dealing with that kind of thing so it's probably better that we did the cable car but that is another option and the burrows don't go down they only go up there's a donkey ride to go up if you want to do that but they will not be going down so and also when you do that something like that the donkey ride only goes up a part of the way so you still have to walk the 100 steps up and a lot of people can't can't do that so um, it is a beautiful place. I mean, I visited this in the late 70s, early 80s, and there was nobody here. So it has grown, and it's kind of heartbreaking to see that, but, I mean, it is gorgeous. Um, you know, you just, I guess you just have to see it once. So, tomorrow we're off to Athens, and we're going to be seeing the Acropolis and Placa, another little city outside of there, and so I'll be showing you all about that. So stay tuned and check out my playlist on the Carnival Pride. It is a gorgeous, I mean it is, you can't be seeing Greece. It's, it's, it really is something, but just be patient and try to not be too uh, worked up over the crowds because it, it's not going to even matter. Really, you can at least see, say you, you've been here and my pictures are, are just gorgeous. So, <laughs> you know, for that I, I'm thankful. but. But it's just a little bit disappointing in some respects. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching. And if you have found this valuable or if this has helped you out in any way, please make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.